Good evening, everyone. Luc Pigeon, 1686, 76th Highness. As you know, uh, lately I've been submitting a lot of uh, documents, videos, flash drives to the city clerk in support of my questions and for the different committees. I would like to know what happens to these things after I submit them here at the council. What happens after that? Okay, your question was, are you aware of this? No, oh, that's the second question. No, maybe, maybe that's not my first question. Yeah, but I'm responding to your question. Can no, you, well, that's what I asked my question. Wait a minute, please. Mm -hmm. First of all, yes, we're aware of it. And yes, we received your USB key. Everybody has a copy. They, they get their email, and they're free to look at what you're sending them. Yes, we're aware. What happens to it? Is it thrown out or is it kept? I look at it, it's in the computer, it's still well, there. No, I'm talking about what I'm submitting today. I'm submitting a USB key and yes, two we, documents. I got that one also. No, no, I'm asking what you do with my documents after I withdraw the trouble. The document are basically goes directly to Penny, our Grefia, and they're kept. And we've got copies of your USB keys. And it's up to the councillor to do whatever they want with it. Oh, you get a copy of the USB, my uh, mic? Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. That, that's good. And uh, I hope that uh, my documents also. Because you said. No, that's my first yes, question. Yes, but I'm talking to you about what you're submitting. Your USB drive that I will file with the city clerk on Monday to Thursday. She gets it. We get a copy also. Oh. Okay. And if they want to look at it, it's their choice. I can't do anything about that either. No, me too. Are you ready for my second question? Yes, go ahead. Can I submit this now? But we already have it. No, listen, I've got... Oh, it's a new one. For it's all new stuff. It over. I do, that's all I do. I'll, I'll, oh, no, I know that. My life is devoted to try to do something about the crime in Yes, yeah, so. no, it's a, and it's a good cause. I think so. Yeah, he's been busy. <laughs> I love it. It's, a, it's not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to have the project in their lives. Jesus. Otherwise, life is meaningless. Okay, so your second question. Uh, Michel, Mike. You were at the actual council meeting on the 25th. Just a moment. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, I don't want to interrupt the reason. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You were at the last actual council meeting, 25th of September? Yeah. I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked Sophie Mazzarol. Tonight, we're going to ask the same question. Then you were answered by the no. Admiral, and she, she's part of the Admiral. She did not answer my question. I'm sorry, you have to ask my question. Answer. Please let me ask my question. No, you have your answer. No, I haven't asked my second The Admiral responded to your question through this lady that's part of no, the Admiral. No, listen, I was completely, it's completely different, <laughs> but it, it's a similar question. It's the same. Modified. No, I modified everything. So, you can I have an answer you the answer. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So, yeah. Catastrophic events like Hurricane Fiona and Ian will become more frequent and deadly because of the following three reasons. Unequal ownership and control of production continues to create high per capita carbon footprints. And you have the diagram, you have a picture of, of how they are. It's a graphic. Number two. Bias reporting by corporate media continues to keep citizens poorly informed and misinformed about the disastrous consequences of impacting climate change. And reason number three, an action of governments continues to allow corporations and media to continue to breed high per capita carbon footprints. Question, this is my question. Why, four years after having declared a climate emergency, is our per capita carbon footprint Still three times higher than the average per capita carbon footprint of the rest of the world. Would you please watch the video Unequal Ownership of Productions Drives a High Per Capita Carbon Footprint for more detailed information? I will watch the video for more details and duration. But you haven't answered why we're three times higher than the average per capita but carbon you know, footprint. You know the answer already. You know, 75% of the CO2 that's emitted comes from the carbon footprints of individuals. And you know that Quebec has the lowest footprint? No, it does not, sir. Uh, okay. The lowest okay. footprint is, is about 100 times lower than ours. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Here for